I don't have to be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Woo! and welcome. If you can hear me um, on your radio 90.9, or just hear me generally, just kind of give a quick beep of your horns. Okay, awesome. So uh, <clears throat> we're also live streaming this on our Central Mondovi Facebook page. It'll be available for viewing after this, but right now we're live. So um, thank you for being here. Um, thank you to Diane for, for organizing this. Thank you to Tiger for building the set. Um, yeah, we can give all the applause we want. The other Sunday school moms and staff that have made this possible, Randy and Rick, um, who, have, who have made the technology and the sound work so well. Um, you know, Chad Reinhardt and the family for bringing some of the animals, Sharon Bornflath for bringing her baby goats. I mean, talk about bucket loads of cuteness. Um, so we're ready to go. Um, but before we do that, I just want to highlight um, Christmas Eve. So we're going to have at 3 o'clock, we'll be live streaming Christmas carols. So you can, on the comments section of the live stream, or just call us on the phone about a carol. And <clears throat> our carol team will sing it from the confines of the sanctuary. And we're going to do that until we're done. And then we're going to have our uh, Christmas Eve parking lot worship. It'll be very similar to this. I heard it's going to be a little colder, so dress warm. Any changes, we'll try to let you know, but it's going to be a very central Merry Christmas. So we're going to do our best. Um, so today as we begin, um, I would just like to have a prayer because it's still the time of Advent. So I'm just going to pray um, the lighting of the Advent prayer today. And as we do that, I want you to think about those who um, need, need God's healing power um, those who are alone, um, those who are facing the end of life, um, because this, those things keep going on in this time of year. 
So I want you to imagine and to think those people, two people in particular would be Andy or Arlene Johnson and, and, and Nick uh, Bursaw. So please remember them as we pray. So let us pray. We praise you, O God, for this wheel of time that marks our days of preparation for Christ's coming. As we light the candles of this Advent wreath, open our eyes to see your presence in the lowly ones of this earth. Enlighten us with your grace that we may sing of your Advent among us in the word made flesh. Grant this through Christ our Lord, whose coming is certain and whose day draws near. Amen. So let us sing, O come all ye faithful. And if you need a bulletin or anything, kind of raise your hand. <laughs> Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let us. Jesus. His birth, it was foretold. His mother's name was Mary, and she wasn't very old. His father's name was Joseph. He took Mary for his wife, for God himself had promised 
that through her would come new life. The census needed taken, so they traveled a long way to Bethlehem in Judah. They didn't plan to stay. But the baby was soon coming. Mary knew it would be today. They knocked on many doorsteps, but they had nowhere to stay. One innkeeper showed some kindness. I have no room to share, but my stable has room enough. Go look, right over there. The stable with its animals and a bed of sweet soft hay was the birthplace of the King of Kings, Jesus arrived that day. And in the fields just nearby, the shepherds were amazed. They knew that something had happened. Into the night sky they gazed. The angels of the Lord appeared. Glad tidings did he bring. Arise and go to Bethlehem to worship Christ the King. So they gathered all around the major where he lay to worship, giving thanks to God for the Savior born that day. The star is shone so brightly and led the wise men there to worship and adore him. Great gifts did they bear. He came to earth, God's only son, born there in that stall, the promised Meza Amuel, and this is a savior for us all. You guys, thank you for coming. Um, thank you for not letting COVID kick this Christmas story in the butt. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it must go on. Um, and thank you for all these wonderful children. I mean, I thought, we can't do a Christmas story. It broke my heart. And then Pastor came up with this short little thing, and it was perfect. The Christmas story is not big and fancy. It is basic, 
It needs children. It needs us to celebrate, and I guess we found out it needs animals. It, it, it has just been great, terrific, wonderful. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the message is still the same. So thank you for being here. It was short and sweet, and Mother Nature cooperated the best she can during December. So thank you. Um, and thank you for everybody that helped. Jeannie, Near, and Sammy also helped me do this, and the moms and whoever. Thank you. And the, she the goats approve, I'm assuming. So, all righty. Okay, Pastor, you have some words? We have to sing, so away in a manger. receive this blessing that Almighty God who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary proclaimed joy through the angels sent the shepherds with good news and led by the led the magi by a star bless you this day through the word made flesh amen go in peace and share the gift of Jesus thanks, thanks be, be to God, God. So we conclude today and thank you so much as we go our way singing joy to the world as we usher in this Christmas time. Far as the 
curse is found. Far as, as far as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations proud. The glories of Say amen and honk your horns. Amen. Oh, that was all right.